So this is the product and design sync or Gina and I's one on one for August 5th of 2021. Is that the right year? I don't know. I still March 2020 in my head. Um, so kicking off, Gina, you have the first of the agenda. Yeah, this was a question on our planning for our milestones for 14.2 and 14.3. And I was looking at that first link that I linked there was something that you were asking. As a percentage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I was checking to see how that relates to the widget updates that we're doing um, with pajamas and that whole effort. So this is the issue. We have a schedule for 14.3. This is related to the performance widget, which we did not address as part of this. Well, I think um, you have, you had asked the question and we didn't. Um... I asked it, but it doesn't look like it got answered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, exactly. There should be, is that a Figma file? That's a Figma file. I don't think that we would need much for design on this. I wouldn't think. Yeah. That's we, what I was thinking too. Yeah, if we. Uh, oh, it's actually going to send you another file because that one is supposedly outdated. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm so going to put this in our. So yeah. is there a different Figma file I should, should get into? Yeah. I'll put it in our uh, agenda doc. I just put it in underneath that bullet. Hopefully that brings you to the correct page. Oh boy. Yes. Yeah. Um, so here we go, browser performance and we could probably do the same. Oh, we didn't have a load load testing in here, huh? Okay. Um, so for browser performance, I think we could take a couple of routes. If it's, I wonder if we could do something and we could just show the percentage change if it's up or down without any sort of color coding or like inference as to what is changed or if it's good or bad. Um, in there. The iteration on that I would want to propose is that for the points that we know about from the site speed report, we do have context for if that's good or bad and can indicate this got worse, this got better. Okay. Um, so we do use language like degraded or improved or the same, but that might not always be the case because I know that some people are like overriding the um, or they're using the report format, but for not site speed, just to get data into a widget, um, which is fine. I mean, we can use it how you want to, um, but we'll probably, it'll be a funky experience potentially for those folks, uh, which I think that that's probably the long tail. So I'm not super stressed out about that for an NBC. Okay. Um, so I think that we can, to, to answer the question of, can we do this without design or can we move forward with this? I think we can. I think we just need some iteration here to take this out of design. Just put it into, um, sorry, I said just, we should put it into planning breakdown and in the proposal say, we're going to include it increased or it decreased and that's it for the change. We're not gonna to try to provide any context about if that is good or bad. Okay. So that, since we did, since it didn't get taken care of in the other, I think we could do that here as part of this. Yeah. And then I might try to work this into, this helps meet our uh, UXKR. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit of a forceful uh, gesture, but uh, see if we can work it in there. Um, and if not, then we're going to deprioritize this and push it out. Okay. Um, 
Um, let me. It would also be good for me to then see if we could update. I mean, although it doesn't change the structure of how that widget is looks, it would just be good to maybe add a percentage in there. Just if that's what we're going to go with, if that makes I sense. I think so. I think that the proposal in here is what we want to do um, of intended users for the, there's actually not a proposal section in here. All right, I'm sure past, oh, there is a proposal section. I was going to yell at past James about that. He's okay. Um, Components. Clean them this up so it gets a little bit easier. This is super interesting for anybody else watching. I'm typing, not on the screen, I'm sharing. Um, here, hold on. This way you can see what I'm typing too. Six. What? Still misspelled that. I'll fix that later. Um, spelling is always an adventure with James. Uh, Maybe the same thing with me. So. Ah, I joke that my superpower is I can misspell close enough for autocorrect. <laughs> hey, and see, it, I got close enough. Oh, nice. <laughs> cool. It does have the planning Why? breakdown label, I realized. I thought it had design, but it, it did. Was I just changed it. Oh, OK, OK. Why does the proposal not show up? Why is that commented out? Intended users. Problem solved. OK. And then intended users doesn't show up for some reason. That's oh. weird. Uh, I, I know why. Because um, I took out part of a comment that ripped out everything after it. <laughs> OK. Because <laughs> I'm good at markdown, Gina. Yep. Better than I am. So. It's like it's okay. my job or something. I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> all right. So that's all cleaned up. I think we're in a good spot. Um, thanks for asking that question so we could refine that real quick. I think that that makes sense. I'm going to ping Scott and us. Oh. I'm going to ping Scott and Zoom controls are in the way. Um, Miranda on this. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm going to tag Gail on so many things when I'm trying to get you. Because um, I'm going to type GD and hit return and get the wrong person. Sorry about that. <laughs> You're gonna, okay. I'm going to miss tag some things. Um, thanks, Gina, for what's up. One seven nine, so we find the 
So are we good on that? Do we answer your questions? Yeah, you did. I lost awesome. some notes of what we did too. Thanks so. for helping me just do that real quick synchronously. That way it's yeah. all taken care of. Cool. Okay. Uh, you got your GDK working? Yes, surprisingly. I, I, that I was one thing. got it set up. So you're you're further along than I am two years in. <laughs> well, it took me a while, so. Um, so I got that work. And then the, the other thing I just wanted to mention is that I'll be most of my time will be with the runner team mm -hmm. for when you're already aware about of that for this milestone. Uh, so I'll, I'll be starting the UX tour card or I am, I have started it this week. Um, so that will be taking up most of my time. That's all I have. Um, so my weekly priorities this week are I guess it's Thursday. Um, so leads into the next bullet. Uh, Scott Stern, a front end developer from, I think, Plan. I actually don't remember what team Scott's on, um, but he'll be joining us for Q3 uh, for an internship for learning on product. Um, I think I've mentioned this before too. Yeah. Um, but his goals revolve around understanding more of the business side of the business and opportunity validation. So we're going to be running him through a full problem validation cycle from looking at what's in the opportunity or the validation backlog right now, double checking the scores on those, picking out the top thing that we haven't had a chance to research yet, and then running it all the way through. So he'll be working with um, Caitlin to do the recruiting research. We'll probably ping you on the discussion guide so that you're looped into that like you would normally be if I was running a problem validation cycle. Um, so expect some pings from Scott on those topics. Um, but we normally split the effort on problem validation like 90-10 product design. So it's much more of a product heavy or product management heavy focus than a design focus. And then that kind of flip flops when we would get into solution validation. So the outcome that Scott's looking for is present an opportunity canvas and either get the go to move into solution validation or mm -hmm. you know, we figure out what would be next steps in validating our, our hypotheses around the problem. Um, so okay. just wanted to, to bring that up. Um, and that's really... That was that was pretty much it for me. Um, oh, that was yeah. So there's that, and uh, I'm working on a sales enablement webinar talking about um, how sales can take some of the existing use cases that customers have, very common things, and leveraging setup work that people have already done, customers have already done, to get benefit out of other features. Um, so I'll share the webinar with the team um, once it's recorded, um, and then we have an ongoing partnership discussion. Um, that took up the first half of the week, but I think it's pretty much wrapped up for my priorities. Uh, so I'm jumping into, I didn't have it listed in my goals, but I'm revisiting old recordings um, from some research that Jackie had done to better understand why customers aren't using CI who are SCM customers. I want to try to glean if there's artifact related problems in that. So that's what I'm working on this week in my priorities. Nice. Cool. cool. Would would it be a good thing for me to reach out to Scott? I haven't even introduced myself, so probably. To be on our team call this morning. Oh, okay. Great. So no worries there. Um, and then uh, just looking ahead next week, I am out on Thursday. Uh, okay. So I'm happy to pull our discussion forward to Monday or Tuesday, but I'm out Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Okay. I could do, you can look at my time. I think I have more availability on Tuesday if we're doing the morning. I have afternoons pretty much always free. Yeah, let's do, um, let's do like Monday at, oh, that's late in your day, Monday at five. Let's do earlier than that. Let's do Monday at 2.30 your time. Sure, that works. Okay. 
Right. So we probably won't have a ton more to catch up on, but um, yeah. And if you want to do it async, just let me know. Just ping me in Slack and then just add the comments to the agenda. Um, that'd okay. Be fine as well. Thank you for being flexible on that. I appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. Um, cool. Yes, yeah, you're working on Runner stuff. I was going to say, what should we do next on those MR widgets? But that's not what you're focusing on right now. So I will try to <laughs> restrain myself from making you do design work for a milestone or two more. Yeah. Well, it awesome. feels a little weird for me. So I'm sure. Yeah. I wanted, I definitely want to like get into it. Um, Take your time. Trying to, yeah, no I am. Anything I can help with on the scorecards or anything like that? Any other questions I can help answer or context I can get you? I don't think so right now. Okay. Vithika has been helping me out there um, and I have like a template to be able to follow. So it seems pretty straightforward or that's what I think right now. And then I'll probably get into it and be confused, but I'll, I'll be fine for right now. <laughs> Um, once you start into the testing stuff, I've recorded a few speed runs of various features. They should all be in the team channel. Um, so feel okay. free to jump into those. And if you, if you have questions or when you have questions, just ping me. Or if you want to open an issue and like record your progress in the issue of here are the six videos I'm going to watch and then discussion thread for each, you can just ping me there and we can do it async. And then that keeps it like it, it creates a source of record for that as well. And the team can weigh in as well. Um, either that way, would this be... is fine by me. Yeah, no, I like the issue idea. That's a really good idea. Uh, for six Lots of folks do okay. that for um, competitive analysis and stuff. Uh, well, they'll, they'll open an issue and then post the video um, of kind of their walkthrough. For competitive analysis, usually the video gets posted private. Um, and for others, like our own run throughs, that stuff we're happy to, to publish uh, to Unfiltered. So if you okay. want to run through, um, you can do it that way. Okay, cool. Or just do it. That. I mean, we don't have to record anything for this. So. Right. Okay. Awesome. All right. All right. We'll Thank see you, you on the team call a little bit. Sounds good. Thanks, Cheers. James. Bye.